Hey everybody, how's it going? John Boy here for the Gardening and Gaming Goober. We are on episode number 7 of the Garden Vlog. As you can see in the background, my raised bed's doing quite fine. I did have some soil sinkage like I warned you about in the last video with the dirt there. I did have to add another 5 gallon bucket of soil. And I haven't seen anything in the last couple of days, so it looks like that's good to go. I'm just going to give it a few more days and uh, I'll be able to plant my broccoli in there. Since the temps are reaching a point where I don't have to worry about the broccoli freezing. Uh, with the temperatures being cool, but not cold, I can also start thinking about planting some of my other stuff, like my lettuce. Uh, if you remember when we went to Tractor Supply, I bought, bam, salad bowl lettuce, and I also have my butter crunch lettuce. So that's what I'm actually going to get started uh, with the first part of this video, is getting that planted. And then if this rain stops today, and things dry out a little bit, or uh, in the next day or two, I'm going to get that broccoli planted, and that'll be a little bit later in the video. But let's get to what we have on at hand. Let's get to this uh, lettuce, and I'll show you what I'm going to do, how I'm going to prepare the soil, and how to actually plant your lettuce. Let's get to it. Okay, so I have my container here. The container that I'm using I bought at the dollar store. Uh, it's just a dish tub container that I drilled some holes in the bottom of it, about 12 or so. I used this last year as a container for my lettuce and my pepper plants, and it actually worked out pretty well. So I'm going to use that again this year. I filled it up about a third of the way or so with the soil that I put in the cups when we transplanted our plants from the pods uh, into the red solo cups for the broccoli and uh, our tomatoes. This is the same soil here. Uh, in the buckets here I had leftover soil when we were filling up the raised bed and uh, th we, as you know this is my top soil and mushroom manure mix. Now this soil when it gets really wet can get very very dense and this soil is kind of really loose and grainy with all the rocks and twigs and everything that's inside of it. So I've never done this before, but I thought it would be a good idea to do about a one-third mix of this that's a little denser to a two-thirds mix of what I actually have in the raised bed. Uh, I'm going to try and pick some of the bigger pieces out uh, as I'm kind of sifting through it with my hand. And then, you know, as I see that it's good, I can go ahead or if I find, like, see, I found another big gigantic piece there. I'm just going to throw it into the empty bucket. So I'm going to get this in here, get it all mixed up nice and good, and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to plant the seeds. Okay, so while I'm in the middle of preparing this, I thought of something, a little quick tip I wanted to give you. Now I did fill this container up the whole way with the soil, you know, almost to the top, and I was trying to mix it by hand, and I really wasn't having much luck. It was spilling out and going everywhere. So, if you have something a little bigger, like a five gallon bucket, go ahead and toss your soil after you fill up your container, you know how much soil you need, into a larger container like this five gallon bucket. Then you can really get your hands down in here and really get a good, strong, you know, mix going with your hands so you can get uh, the two types of soil that you're using uh, mixed up nice and well. Uh, this will also work good uh, if you're using any type of fertilizer, say, you know, this isn't your first season growing, maybe this is your second season, and you're reusing the dirt uh, that you had from the previous year and you needed to mix in some nutrients or fertilizers or whatever, um, you know, you can get your soil going in here from your container, uh, mix it up nice and well, and then just go ahead and add it back in. So, this is looking good. Um... You kind of want your soil to get like crumbly brownie mix. You know, like when a brownie gets, you know, maybe just a hair too dry and you cut into it and it kind of breaks apart. Uh, that's what you want your soil to be like whenever you mix it. So what worked out well for me was, is the soil that I had in the bag is a moisture holding soil. Uh, so while I'm mixing this up, I'm noticing that, you know, this is nice and soft soil, uh, and it seems that it's holding the moisture from the soil. So this, that one-third of the bag mix to the two-thirds of the top soil mushroom manure, looks like this is going to be a good combination uh, for the lettuce. I'm really hoping that it does uh, work. Again, like I said, I only used the bag lettuce last time, and the one reason I wanted to add top soil to it was because my bagged soil... Um, I kind of felt that the lettuce was hindered in a way and never really reached the peak that I felt it could have. Um, 
you know, it, like it would get l large leaves, but not like really big leaves. And it always stayed, like once it grew to a certain size, it kind of just stayed there. And I always felt that something was holding it back. And in my opinion, I feel it might have been the soil that was holding it back. It was just a little, little too dense uh, for the uh, lettuce roots to uh, get in. So this being a little looser, uh, but still going to hold that moisture, I think is going to work quite well. So let me get this uh, soil back into these containers and uh, show you how you're going to plant these uh, lettuce seeds. Okay, so I got my soil mixed up. I got it ready to go. Um, you do want it to be a little, like, not soaking wet, but a little moist. Uh, if it's not, make sure you water your soil down a little bit before you get ready to plant. Uh, one thing you can do to kind of test is just give it a little pat. And if you see that your soil holds your, uh, you know, makes like a hard surface, like you can even see like how it's cracking like this, then you know you got enough water in there and that should be good to go. Um, since I don't really have any extra soil to go on top, uh, like I did with my bag soil, I'm just going to take a little bit, and I'm finding some more rocks in here. There's another one. Um, take a little bit off the top, about an inch to or so, and just go ahead and put that in your bucket, and you're going to need that for after you uh, sow your seeds. So I'm going to go ahead and smooth this back out, make sure it's nice and level, and that's looking pretty good there. So. What I do is I actually kind of overseed a little bit. Um, let me dump some of these seeds out. Now you can see, you know, that's a lot of seed. And I'm probably not going to use all of that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these seeds. And kind of like you do whenever you're doing your herbs and uh, when you're cooking. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of sprinkle a whole bunch of these in here all over the place to cover most of you know your container so go ahead and sprinkle 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 now you may have all these grow you may have some grow you may have none grow um, but chances are you're gonna have you know quite a bit grow let me put the rest of these back in this and by the way this is the salad bowl lettuce that I'm starting with first there we go Okay, <clears throat> so I don't know if you can see because it's kind of the same color. I'll kind of pull it up close, but I have all my seeds all throughout my soil. I'm going to take that soil that I took off the top and I'm going to go ahead and just lightly sprinkle it, you know, breaking it up as I can over the top just enough to cover the seeds. Uh, you want it to be a base covering to no more than maybe a quarter inch deep. Uh, you definitely don't want to go more than a quarter inch deep uh, with your covering on this. Uh, they don't need to be super, super deep in your soil uh, in order for them to grab on and grab hold for the roots. Let me just get the last of the soil. Like I said, I don't want it to be too deep. I think I'll just dump the rest in my other bucket and give it a nice little pat over just to hold those in place. And that's it. I'm going to repeat the same thing uh, for my butter crunch lettuce and these are ready to go. Uh, now it is really pouring down rain today and I don't want the big droplets uh, to really get all over this uh, too much. So I'm going to let these sit on my porch where some of the misty rain can get on it because I do want the soil to get a little wet. Now, if it's a dry day for you guys, go ahead and just give it a really, really light watering over the top uh, just to set the top of this soil uh, for and to get your seeds going. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get the other uh, lettuce planted, and that's going to be it for our container gardening for today. Uh, and like I said, hopefully... In a few hours here, if the weather clears up, uh, I'll show you guys how I'm going to plant the broccoli. And I'll give you an update on some other things that I got started uh, going on inside the house. Okay, so we're back inside. And one of the things I wanted to show you uh, was you don't have to buy expensive uh, containers and stuff to start your seeds. Um, if you look here, I have what are just Chinese food containers uh, that you get whenever you get to-go food. 
and I went to the store and I picked up uh, the little pods that you saw like the first time when I planted my seeds. I just put them in here, filled it up with water, let the uh, little pods expand and then planted uh, what I wanted to plant next. Uh, what I was going to plant in here originally was the Carolina Reaper and the Cucumber Seeds, but I found out that the Reaper Seeds needed to be planted a little different. So here we go, we got our Cucumber Seeds going in here, and we got a few of them sprouting. This is about, uh, I'd say, uh, three days on top of my fridge, maybe four. I'm not really seeing any leaves yet in any of these, just the uh, stems. So I'm going to put that back up on my fridge. They do need a little drink of water because it is feeling a little dry. So I'll go ahead and get these uh, watered up. And in here, you know, I got GB for our green beans. Now, I had originally said I was going to plant these outside, but I thought, you know, why not try and get a jump start on a few of them indoors? Uh, I'm not going to be planting uh, all of these um, in containers. As you see, I got about 10 here. Uh, if all 10 grow, which I'm hoping that they do, and as we can see also, I planted these on the same day. And let me zoom in here. You can see we got a few breaking through the soil. One there, uh, one in the middle, and I believe we got one right there starting to go. Uh, if all these take, uh, which I'm hoping they do, um, I'll get these planted uh, to get started and then do what's called um, like a secondary crop where you have one that started a week or two in advance and then a week or two later you plant your seeds for your other one and that way when you're harvesting from one the other one's growing and you can get a constant crop instead of having to wait uh, in order to do that. Uh, now we're going to do one last quick hop over into the uh, garage to show you the Carolina Reaper seeds that I was making. Okay well unlike those other seeds there's nothing really special to show about these ones. I don't really have anything going on, and again, I planted these on the same day. But I was surprised to find that these uh, needed to be uh, treated a little differently. Uh, where we started all the other pepper seeds and everything, and they needed uh, to be in the dark, and they wanted it to be a little bit more dry, on the back of the Carolina Reaper seed package, it actually said you want to keep these moist and in as much light as possible. So I put these underneath the grow light, and as you can see, I've been watering them, and uh, keeping the ground uh, or the soil that's in those little packages moist. So hopefully I can get one plant, that's all I'm looking for, one out of three, uh, to grow here. And uh, you know these will be a little bit behind my other ones, but that's only because I didn't get them ordered in time. And uh, you know I got those in late, so hopefully we'll still be able to have a good crop with those. But like I said, I wanted to give you just a quick update of what's going on inside the house. Uh, with the uh, green beans, the cucumbers, and my Carolina Reapers. Okay, so after that rainstorm that we had uh, and everything going on, I did finish uh, getting all the chicken wire up on all the uh, sides. I, I left my one eight foot side open. Uh, this is going to be the side that I um, try to plant my stuff from and do most of my gardening, my weeding. Uh, if I have to, I can cut the zip ties. Uh, on the other corners, but I'm going to try not to if I can. Um, like I said, unless I absolutely have to. Uh, I went and put uh, screws in at every uh, foot marker, and then I took a uh, string and I gridded out my area. So I now have my 32 plots gridded out. Um, I'm not going to leave this on the whole time uh, while I'm growing. Uh, just once I get all my plots settled and all my plants in the uh, ground, uh, then I'll remove the string. Uh, give the plants more room to grow, make sure they don't get tangled. Um, I mean, it may not hurt to leave it in if you want to leave it in, uh, but I'm going to imagine that this string is probably going to get pretty nasty uh, after it rains and stuff, and I just don't want that in my garden. Uh, give you a quick update here on my broccoli before I plant it, and let me bring it a little closer. And you guys can see, let me see here, here we go, how big these leaves and everything have gotten. Um, I've put these outside the past couple of days uh, trying to harden them off to get them ready to go in the ground So I believe that these are all ready um, I got five that I put in the cups if you remember when we did the transplants and then I have uh, two more That I was about ready to transplant into the cups, but I thought to myself, you know what? I could probably just put these right into the ground uh, No point in putting them in here and a day later going and putting them in the ground uh, For the cups, I'm gonna dig a hole slightly deeper uh, then the length of the whole cup, um, maybe by like about an inch or so, 
and then plant to uh, fill in the soil to the bottom leaf. Um, once you do plant anything in the ground, make sure you give it a good drink of water. Uh, as you can see, a lot of my stuff, uh, because we haven't had much rain, is really, really dry. And these plants are going to need a good amount of water. Um, I do have one pitcher here. I thought that might be enough to do all seven, but now that I'm looking at how dry this soil is, uh, it's probably going to need maybe two or three of these, actually, uh, to do that. So I got my trusty shovel. I'm going to get to digging. Um, if you remember when I showed you originally where I was planting everything, uh, my far left over here is going to be uh, my cucumbers, and I switched it up. I did have my bush beans over here, uh, but I think I'm going to plant the sugar snaps uh, and put some climbing uh, teepees uh, for the cucumbers and the sugar snaps in that first row. Then we got two rows of broccoli, and then I believe we have uh, some spinach here, and on the far side is going to be basil. And then most of these are going to be peppers. Down to the last row, I have uh, three of the tomatoes uh, down there at the far end. So I'm going to get to digging, and I'll catch up with you guys uh, once I get these in the ground. Okay, well, maybe you can actually see me now. <laughs> Sun's gone down a little bit behind the hill and behind the uh, trees. But got my seven broccoli going on here. Um, in the uh, second row, second plot, and the third row first plot is where I put the ones uh, f that were just in the little uh, starter things, uh, the ones that weren't in the cups. So I'm going to keep an eye on those to see if those react any differently than the ones uh, that I was able to transport, transport, listen to me, transplant into the cups. Um, I still do have a few broccoli down in the basement that are uh, underneath the grow light. So should anything happen to this uh, or any of these, I do have uh, some backups. Uh, should I need them now? I do have my list and how I want the stuff in the garden But I always think it's fun to make little tags and put them in there. So I got my broccoli tags made and That's it our first plants are in here. Um, I had originally said or at least I think I originally said in my uh, video when I made this uh, Enclosure that I was gonna put zip ties around all uh, four sides and then cut them to tie them off uh, I've now changed my mind on that. I know I'm going to need to get in and out of here a lot, and it's going to cost a lot of money uh, if I keep cutting these zip ties and having to replace them. So what I'm actually going to do is the same, um, same string that I used uh, to grid this out, which is a pretty high, strong string. Um, I'm going to tie one at the top and one at the middle, because uh, that's what I did with the zip ties, and that seemed to be pr pretty much enough to uh, secure that. And then I can just tie them into you know, a slip knot, or just a regular bow <clears throat> and I, I think that should be enough to hold it in there hopefully I mean if not obviously something will get in I'll know about it and then I'll have to figure out a new idea from there maybe I have to go to something a little heavy more heavy duty like a chain or something like that with a lock so anyways I hope you all enjoyed this episode we got the dirt in uh, got the fencing finished and we got our first uh, transplants in the ground uh, so we're moving forward on this and uh, you know it's exciting um, hopefully in the next episode, uh, it should be the middle of May, uh, and in the middle of May is when we're going to get our, um, uh, peppers in the ground, uh, our cucumbers, and, uh, pretty much everything else, our tomatoes, pretty much everything else is going in the ground, uh, and going to be ready to go here. So, um, one other quick note, uh, before I sign off, I was pleasantly surprised. This top looks super, super dry because we haven't had any rain, and when I dug down even just about an inch to an inch and a half, it was super moist soil, so uh, I was pleasantly surprised to see that the 50-50 uh, mix of the topsoil mushroom manure was holding a good amount of water in it. Um, that'll be something to think about later on, that maybe even though the top looks super dry, I might have to do a thing where I put my finger down into the soil to make sure that the soil underneath uh, doesn't get too, too wet and uh, cause any problems with the roots. So anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, subscribe, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot, and I'll see you next time. Keep on growing. Bye.